Like what he did with the car. <laughs> Got the duck bill on there now too. Cool. Six feet right there, man. Super clean, super clean. So, but I'm actually gonna be buying him his stock headlights from him. Um, and I'm actually gonna be retrofitting those like I told you guys, so. All right, so we got the headlights right here. Um, I had an extra pair, like I was saying, okay? Um, but what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and skip opening them up and showing you guys on camera. I already have a video, I already um, did all that, showed you guys how to do that. So I'll leave a link um, on the screen, like like right, like right here, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that and we're just gonna pop it open, get straight into the headlights just so I can show you everything, what we got going on. All right, so we got them off, okay? Pop them off, pretty simple. Just a quick pro tip, okay? So when you actually are, you know, getting the lens, so when you're getting the lens off, make sure you don't pull from this corner because this is prone to leaking. You want to start, this is a pro tip, you want to start like somewhere down in here, like down in here on the headlights um, because that area right here is prone to cracking and it will usually crack like right here from this end. This is a little bit more sturdy over here, okay? And it's a little easier to crack it open uh, than if you start right here and it just, and then you can also break this little tab right here as well. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna take off the inner casing right here. But as soon as I do that, I'm putting this lens away because you don't want anything to touch the inside of the lens. Cause once something gets on the inside of the lens, there's, they're so hard to clean and basically it will not look perfect. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go ahead and remove everything uh, from the headlight. So I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so there's a top bolt right here for the shroud. And then right here, there's two bolts. So one right here and one right here for this little chrome piece right here. Uh, that's gonna be able to take it out. And then uh, once you, you pull this out, you're gonna go ahead and clip off these little things right here. You're gonna get pliers and basically clamp them together like that, like this, and you're gonna pull the, the shroud out. This part is kind of hard um, to do if you haven't done it before. So just kind of keep kind of messing with it until you get it. What I'm gonna do though at the same time, I'm just gonna leave this part in and just take the bulb out and I'm just gonna paint, uh, take this whole piece and just paint it. Uh, but, and then to take off this part, you're gonna go ahead and use this bolt right there. As you can see, take that out. All right, so the next step is actually a pain in the ass. This is only if you're gonna be doing demon eyes or switching out the honeycomb lens like I'm doing. So what you're gonna have to do to get the lens out, if you see, there's this bracket, okay? This little bracket, and it has these indentions in it. You have to use some type of flathead or something to basically pry this up, both each corner. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all right? This is probably the hardest part of the headlight. This is a bitch to get off, okay? Uh, so I'm just letting, <laughs> letting you know that now. I'm gonna do it off camera because I'm gonna have to pry with it a little bit. But remember, this is only if you're gonna be doing, sw swapping out the honeycomb lens or doing a, a demon eye, like what I'm doing. So you do gotta take this off. All right, so as you can tell, I was able to pry up this one, uh, this one, and then uh, this one right here as well. Pretty easy, okay? But the hardest one is the one that's down right right here. All right, so here is the lens. Just make sure you don't touch the lens with your hands because you don't want to scratch it and get your fingerprints on it. Injector right here. Okay. 
and I'm gonna show you how to put the demon eye in. Okay, gonna do just like, like just like how I watched him fly ride uh, his videos. I'll link the video that I saw it, but he did it on a 370Z uh, headlight. I'm gonna do it exactly how he said. So like anything you see in my video, I basically learned from fly ride. So you can literally go to his channel and he'll teach you how to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole into the projector, like right here. So the demon eye is gonna sit right in here, as you can see, okay? Right. The um, projector and the shroud, okay? So grab it and just mock it up, put it back on there, okay? Um, so you can see where the line's gonna run. So here now, in there, to pull the lines out and then underneath the projector out of the headlight, just to make it look clean and simple. All right, so as you can see, I put a little dot, Sharpie dot, where I'm gonna go ahead and drill it. There's the hole. There it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I just wanted to get the hole started. All right, so now, as you can see, we'll be able to run the wire right through there and um, not have to basically all right, so just a quick update. Let me turn my light off. All right, there we go. We have the DMI mounted up. Okay, uh, so what I did, as you can see, there's a double side sticky on the bottom. Okay, so I put it down right there and then I put another sticky on the actual DMI and put it on there and it stuck very well. And then I use electrical tape right here to basically mask it down uh, to make sure it's not going. And that is not going anywhere. That is freaking sturdy. So, and here it comes. Bam, there it is. Sheesh. Let me see, you can see it. Oh, you can't really see it well. Let me put it in the sky. Nice. There is the honeycomb lens, AKA the soccer ball, according to my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> and also I will link um, my homie's Instagram, who's the one that actually etched the lenses for me. So I had a spare pair of uh, lenses that I let, I sent it to him and then he actually etched them for me. So I didn't actually etch them. Um, you can find a lot of spots to etch them. My homie actually etched them for me. And there you have it. Honeycomb etch projector lens on a G37 coupe. That's what I did to basically fit the line through there. Um, but there it is, DMI is mounted, projector is good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the whole headlight put back together. section right here um, I left it on the headlight like I told you remember to take out this bulb right here um, I'm not gonna put this back on the headlight because I don't like how it shines um, whenever you have the headlights on it just doesn't look right because it's no longer gonna be really shining a lot of head uh, retrofitters they say don't um, black this out you can leave it chrome the whole headlight doesn't have to look chrome I mean black um, I did leave it out I left it chrome on a set of headlights one time and I just didn't like the look I just, I just like the sleek, full black look, so that's why I went ahead and painted this. Um, but just a tip, you know, you don't have to paint this. You could leave this part chrome. If you are gonna black it out, just make sure you take out the bulb. I'm not gonna put this back in though, so. All right, next I'm gonna paint these parts right here for the turn signal and then this extra little shroud right here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and mock up uh, the um, lightning bolt onto the shroud. It's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just drill your holes on the top parts uh, right here and basically line it up with fishing line. Make sure you drill the holes before you paint like what I'm doing here because if you paint and then drill the holes, you're risking messing the paint up and the paint can actually peel up from the, you know, drilling into it. All right, so here is the finished job after painting and mounting it up. Uh, you can kind of see the black wires from the retrofit source right here. Um, so I'm going to go and get fishing line um, in the morning to actually clear that up. Back this morning, I had to run to the store to get more fishing line, but sheesh, look at that. Look at mighty fine in the morning. Super clean. All right, you guys, we're back at it again. 
All right, so as you saw, I went to the store to buy this right here, fishing line, instead of using the wiring from the retrofit source. One, just because I just like the clear look so you won't be able to see it on the headlight. Let me show you really quick. So right here, as you can see, I have the fishing line right there and then the wire right there. So just wanted to switch it up um, and go with this instead of the black. All right, there you have it. Switched it to the fishing line and it's way better, 100% better. So if you get to this point in the video, just know, make sure you use fishing line. Um, it's just way cleaner. And once you figure out how to use it, you gotta tie knots instead of just twisting it, like from the, like the wire from electricsource.com. Once you figure that out, you're good to go. Like that looks so much better, so much cleaner. It looks way more professional. You can't see it, any of it, but if you look up close, you know you can see it a little bit. You know what I mean? That is fine. So much better. Um, let's get to the rest of the headlight and finally get to the halos. The reason why I haven't done the halos yet is because I'm still waiting for my package. It's supposed to come right today. So I've been doing everything else first, getting it all ready, and then I'm gonna do the halo. All right, so I wanted to test to make sure that it works. Let's see, the turn signal is on. All right, everything is good on the turn signal. So just to show you how it looks when it actually is on. These are extremely bright, extremely bright. Oh uh, man, shout out to my boy, Anthony. I'm gonna leave his link in the description, okay? He's the one that hooked me up with all these parts and all that stuff. And guys, so finally, the UPS guy, he literally just pulled up right now. And I've been sitting right here, like a sitting duck, waiting for him. And I finally got my package. So, the unboxing. Get this out of the way. You guys can see it right there. <laughs> but here we go. It's got everything. So, I got the headlight um, splitters to open up the headlights. We have the uh, prisms. Okay, so here's the resealant glue that you need. This is a must, you do need this. And then here is the Bluetooth controller to control the halos. And then here are the packets I'm telling you about. This is just in case, you know, water does happen to get in there. This is, it's supposed to suck them in, suck in the water, all moisture. So yeah, go ahead and finally complete the headlights and get this going. All right, so I'm gonna put my halo And I'm just putting it together, I'm not blocking it together. Uh, making sure the you can't see the wires and putting it exactly where I want it uh, Like right like, like that just like that All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how it looks when it mounted You can't even see you cannot even see that it's mounted and it looks amazing So yeah, the fishing hook for the win um, Just for you a lot more professional to do it this way. So but oh, that looks so much better Super clean, can't see any of the ties. And shout out to one of my followers because he was hating on my zip tie. I know you are. All right, so we got the halo on the projector. And now it's time to put everything back together. So biggest thing, make sure you, when you grab your lens back, you blow out anything that's inside of it because you don't want like little stuff to be basically floating around this lens. And make sure you do not touch the inside of the lens and then it's time to be I'm just gonna throw one of these in in each headlight just to make sure if there does get moisture moisture in there, this will catch it at least for at least six months, I believe. Now the next morning I got energy now and bam! Ah! Yeah, that's the deep and I that glare. Let's check it out up close. Got the honeycomb, it's lens. Woo wee! There it is. And of course I can change the color of these. Let me actually, let me put it on real quick, hold on. It looks so dope. Wow, that's fire. That is fire. There it is with everything on. Super nice. Oh, it looks good, man. It looks 8K fog lights. But man, that looks good now. <laughs> that looks dope. I'm happy with it. 
All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I wanted to show a few different angles of the headlights, um, you know, just so you guys can get the clips and see how it looks. Uh, but it came out very, very clean. I'm very excited about it. All right, so here's a quick video of it at night. Sheesh, everything's shining bright, man. You can see it from a mile away. Super clean. Sheesh. One more quick look at it. This is how it looks at night when I have everything on white mode. That looks so nice. Oh man, that looks good. Excited about how it came out. Like imagine seeing this on the freeway behind you when I'm driving, like that is vicious. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up on it if you liked it and it's gonna help you with your headlights. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.